We're in Manhattan, in Midtown. We're in my home up on the 18th floor. This is where I moved with my new husband in 1981. And the apartment has gotten denser and denser and denser with time. Um, and I think the word eclectic would probably characterize it. I'm a born and bred New Yorker. I come out of an art history background. And in my apartment, which was on West 58th Street at that time, I started to accumulate things and people. The work was so exciting that I realized it was time to go public with it. And that's when I found a space and opened in September of 1973. We opened at 687 Madison Avenue. I was probably too innocent to know to be frightened. I just knew the work was extraordinary and unlike anything I had seen before. As I sold work to clients, I instinctively knew which pieces were important that were definitive. When there is an amalgam, when there's a coming together, a harmony, a certain alchemy of form and content and process, you watch someone's work and it builds to a crescendo and you just know when it's hit that note. And that's the definitive piece. There were enough of those that I realized it was time to document. I started reconnecting with people who had bought pieces because I knew I was gonna to want to borrow back. I also started realizing that what I was doing was not just buying pieces I like, but that I was building the foundations of a collection. Why? Because I wanted there to be a legacy for these pieces. And I knew coming from an art history background, that's what you do. You collect, you hope to exhibit, and you hope to find ongoing conservation. For the book, we chose to re-photograph everything so there would be a commonality of background and presentation. So everything was borrowed back and Otto Stupakoff was engaged to be the photographer. We would bring groups of pieces down to Otto's studio and they would be mounted on dowels and then suspended in space so that they could breathe and have air around them. And then there were the model sessions. So three-dimensional or two-dimensional. Even the Met loaned us some pieces at that time, which we had to handle with white gloves. It was a shock that pieces that I knew so intimately, I could no longer touch other than wearing white muslin gloves. And now I can't even get that close to them. The book was published in 86, and it is a sumptuous presentation worthy of the pieces which were presented as artworks, not as fashion. I wanted people to see the pieces individually, which I hoped was a reflection of what the artists intended.